सो हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स एंड लर्नर्स इन माय फर्स्ट वीडियो इन प्लेसमेंट डायरी आई हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ पॉइंटर्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ अ डायग्राम आई हैव क्लियर्ड ऑल द थिंग्स दैट नीड्स टू बी क्लैरिफाइड इन पॉइंटर नाउ टुडे इन द सेकंड वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू द आउटपुट ऑफ सम एक्सप्रेशंस एंड सम वेरिएबल्स of a program that has been written with the concept of pointers okay now so let's have a look so this is the program i have written now has include study i dot h so we are including the header file this is the main method we are defining now in the very first line of the main method i have declared two integer variables namely i and j so i has not been initialized but J has been initialized by the value twenty five. Okay, now we have declared another two variables pi and pj. Now pi and pj are associated with asterisk symbol. That definitely means that pi and pj are single pointer. Single asterisk symbol has been used, so they are single pointer. And what type of pointer they are? They are integer pointer. Okay, now in pj, what we have assigned? We have assigned the address of j. Now what is j? J is an integer variable. So address of j means it is an address of an integer variable. So who can store this address? An integer pointer. And what is the name of that pointer? The name of this integer pointer is pj that we have declared. So here at the time of the declaration of the pj pointer, integer pointer, we are assigning the address of j to pj. So here look at this diagram. This is the pictorial representation of the RAM before execution. so here these two variable have been declared i j and these are the these these two are the another two variables pi and pj they are two pointers okay so i am assuming that here the address has been allocated for i is 65486 i am assuming this address so it can be any other address but you please try to understand this is the address that has been allocated for the variable i so since integer takes four bytes of memory usually sometimes it also takes two bytes of memory it depends on the compiler but here we are assuming that integer takes four bytes of memory so 65486 has been allocated for i so next it will take four bytes so 86 87 88 89 so up to this 86 to 89 four bytes will be allocated for i then this 65490 to 493 this up to this will be allocated for the variable j Then ninety four to ninety seven, these four bytes will be allocated for have been allocated for pi pointer, and this sixty five thousand four ninety eight, this has been from this address to ninety eight ninety nine five hundred and five hundred one. These four bytes have been allocated for the pointer pj. Okay, now this can be any other address. Okay, so this is the pictorial representation of RAM before execution of the program. Now here. Initially, you look what value we have assigned to the variable j. We have assigned the value twenty five. So I am writing here the value of j is twenty five. Now i has not been initialized yet. Now then we have declared pi pointer and pj pointer. In pj pointer, what we are storing? We are storing the ampersand j. That means the address of j. So what is j? J is twenty five and its address is sixty five thousand four ninety. So sixty five thousand four ninety, that is ampersand j, that is the address of j, is being assigned to the pointer pj. Okay, so pj, that means here we are assigning the address of j, that is sixty five thousand four ninety. So here the pj value will be sixty five thousand four hundred and ninety. Okay, now in the third line, what we are doing? Asterisk pj. Now what is pj? Pj is a pointer, and what it's Value is sixty five thousand four hundred ninety. Okay. Now asterisk pj means whenever asterisk in my previous video I have told you that asterisk is an operator. It is a value at address operator. So whenever you are putting the asterisk symbol in front of an address, it will always fetch the value present on that particular address. So asterisk pj means asterisk sixty five thousand four ninety eight. So this is the address sixty five thousand four ninety eight. So asterisk for sixty five thousand four ninety eight means value presented at this. So its value will be that means here this value will be j plus five. Now what is the previous j? It is twenty five. Now we are adding five to this number. So it will be twenty five plus five. So now it will become thirty five thousand 
30 after executing the third line of the main function. Now in the third line, fourth line, what we are doing? We are assigning the value asterisk pj plus 5 to the variable i. Now what is pj? pj is again a pointer. What is the value? 65,490. So this is now asterisk pj means the value present at 65,490. What value is present? 30. Now so 30, this is 30 plus 5. So it will be 35 and this 35 will be assigned to the variable i. So now the variable i value will be 30 plus 5 that is 35. Okay. Now in the next line we are assigning the value pj to pi. Now what is the value pj? pj is an address 65490. It will also be assigned to pi. pi. That means the pi value will also be 65490. So pi and pj value are same. That means these two pointers are pointing to the same address. That is the address of j. Okay. And in the last line of the main function, we are adding the value of i and j. What is the value of i? 35. And what is the value of j? That is 30. So 35 plus 30, that is 65, will now be assigned in this address. So what is asterisk pi? Pi, look at pi. Pi is 65,490. So this is the location 65,490. Now asterisk pi means value presented. So the value at this location that is 65,490 will now be the value that now be i plus j. i plus j means that is 35 plus 30. So now this 30 will now be overridden by 35 plus 30 that is 65. So this is the pictorial representation of the RAM after getting the executed. Okay, so this will be the uh, pictorial representation. So I am updating this all this value. So it will be 35, then it will be 65, then this will be 65,490. Okay, now this will be 65,490. So all of them will be, these two will be equal. Okay. Now, this is the, now, what is the question? The question is, from the above C program that we have just executed, we have to find the values of the following. Now, I have listed down all the values in this tabular form. So, this is, these are the expression, m percent i, m percent j. Okay, so, then pj, this is m percent i, the next one is m percent j. So, it will be m percent j. Okay, then third one is the, pj, then fourth one is asterisk pj, then asterisk pi, then we want to find out the value of asterisk pi plus 2, then we want to find the value of asterisk of pi minus 1, then number 8 is pi plus 2, the 9, serial number 9 is i, and finally we have to find the value of pi. So these are the values, these are the variable actual or expression, whose value, whose result we are going to find out with the help of this diagram. So this is the pictorial representation of RAM after execution of the main function. Now we will try to find out the values. Now what is M% I? So in my previous video I have discussed that M% means address of operator. So if M% is associated with any variable that means its address will be coming out. So M% I means, so this is the variable I, its address is 65,496. So here we will write 65,486. 486. Okay, fine. Next, m percent j. m percent j means address of j. So this is the variable j. So this is its address. So this is m percent j, and it is 65,490. So it is 65,490. Okay. Next, pj. pj. What is pj? pj is a pointer. Now look at the value. What is pj? In pj. We have assigned 65,490. So PJ's value is also 65,490. Now number 4 is asterisk of PJ. So PJ is 65,490 and this is the location. Asterisk PJ means the value present at this address. And what value is present? That is 65. So asterisk of PJ means asterisk of 65,490 and its value is 65. So this is asterisk pj then asterisk pi so pi value is also same 65490 so it is also 65490 so asterisk 
Pi means the value present at this address that is also 65. Okay, so now look at number 6. In number 6, what we are trying for we are trying to find that asterisk of Pi plus 2. So what is asterisk of Pi? Pi is a pointer and asterisk of Pi means the value present at this address. So it is a value, it is an integer value and we have just found that asterisk of Pi is 65. So it will be 65 plus 2 that is 67. So its value is 67. Next one is asterisk of Pi minus 1. Now this is very important. Now here what is Pi? Pi is an address. Now what is the address? Pi is equal to 65490. Okay. So 65490 is the value of Pi. So I am writing here. So Pi is equal to 65490. Now when we are writing Pi minus 1, it will be 65490 minus 1 into size of integer. So it will be device like this. So it is called pointer arithmetic. So whenever you are decrementing the pointer by the value 1 that means it will be decrement by 4 because pi is a pointer to an integer an integer takes 4 bytes of memory so whenever you are decreasing it by 1 so it will be decremented by 4 that's why it will be it will be devised like that 65490 minus 1 means minus so this implies actually minus 1 1 into size of integer. Since integer now this implies what? 65490 minus 1 multiplied by size of integer is 4. So this simply means that it will be equals to 65486. So that will be the answer. That means although we are decrementing the pointer by the value 1 but it will be decremented by 4 since integer takes 4 bytes of memory. Okay. Now so the value of Pi minus 1 is 65,486. So value of Pi minus 1 is 65,486. So asterisk of Pi minus 1 means value present at that address. That means asterisk of 65,486. And what is this? What value is present at 65,486? That is 35. So it will be simply 35. Okay. So this will be 35. Okay, next, look at the next one, pi plus 2. So, pi plus 2 means again we are incrementing the pointer. So, what type of pointer is it? It is an integer pointer. Okay, so if you are incrementing it 2 bytes, that means it will be incremented by 2 multiplied by 4. Since integer takes 4 bytes, so 2 into 4 means it will be incremented by 8. So, what is the value of pi? Value of pi is 65,490 plus 8. That means it will be 65,498. So it will be 65,498. Now look at number 9. It is simply i. It is an integer variable. So its value is 35. Look at this. It is 35. i is equal to 35. Okay. And last one is pi. So pi is what? pi is a pointer. And it's simple. It is its address. And its address is 65,490. So this value will be printed. 65,490. Okay. So these are the variables and expressions which value we have found. Okay, so I have um, uh, discussed with the help of this diagram before the with the help of the RAM, and I have shown the pictorial representation of the RAM before execution and after the execution. So my dear students, I hope that you have understood it very clearly, and this is very much important for your upcoming campus interview because whenever you are going to apply for the campus interview in the technical round written exam this type of questions will be there. Okay, so you must have to focus very clearly on pointer because it is very important. Okay, so I hope that you have understood it. If you have any kind of questions, or query or doubt, you, you should feel free to um, put your comments on the comment box. I'll definitely try to answer on that. Okay, till then, please take care. Have a nice day. Thank you.